the sequence of the row operation on metric A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I usually involve the following steps. So, step 1, A become 1. Okay. And then step 2, D and G become 0. Step 3, E become 1. Step 4, B and H become 0. Step 5, I become 1. And last step, C and F become 0. Let's see example 21. Find the inverse of metric A using elementary row operation. Okay. We need to rewrite this in the form of an augmented matrix with matrix A augmented with the identity matrix. Okay, matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5, 3, 5, 6. Matrix A at the left side augmented with Basically, take the left side metric A and make it identity metric. Okay, and so the right side here is going to change as a result. Let's start performing elementary row operation. Okay, so we will start with the first column of metric A here. Okay. So first, we want to change 2 here to become 0. There is only one method to change 2 to 0. Okay, method number 3. Multiply all the elements of a row by a scala and add the product to another row. Remember that our objective is to change the left metric here, metric A, to become identity. Okay. That is our objective, to change this one to identity metric. To change the element 2 at the row 2 here to become 0, we need to create a formula. So, the formula is negative 2, scalar negative 2, multiply by row 1, okay, and plus with the row you want to change, row 2, you will get new row 2. Okay. Alright. So, row number 1 and row number 3 remain, does not change. So, you just copy from the previous metric. Okay. Left side and right side. So we will change row 2 based on this formula that we create. Okay, so let's change 2 to 0. Okay, substitute negative 2 times row 1. So times the first element of row 1 times 1 plus R2 plus the first element of row 2. Okay, 2. You will get new row 2. So equal to. 0. So, here 0. Okay. And then, um, move to the second column. Okay. So, negative 2 times the second element of row 2 times 2 plus the second element of row 2 plus 4 equal to 0. So, here 0. Okay. And then, move to column 3. Okay. So, negative 2 times 3 here. Okay. Row 1 plus row 2. 5 here. Equal to negative 1. So, negative 1 here. Okay. 
and then we move to right side. Okay, so apply the formula at the right side. Alright, so negative 2 times row 1, 1 here, plus row 2, 0, equal to negative 2. So negative 2 here. Okay, and then move to the second column, negative 2 times 0 here, plus R2, so 1 here equal to 1. So here 1. Okay. And then last one. Negative 2 times 0 plus 0 equal to 0. So 0 here. Okay. Let's see column number 1 here. So here already 1. So here already 0. And now 3. So we change 3 to 0. Okay, now we need to create a formula. Okay, what scalar when you multiply by row 1, 1 plus with row 3, 3 equal to 0. So negative 3 times row 1 plus row 3 you will get new row 3. Okay. Row 1 and row 2, just copy from the previous metric. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, negative 1. Negative 2, 1, 0. Okay, so now we change row 3 based on the formula that we create. Negative 3 times R1, 1 plus R3, 3, you will get 0 here. Next, negative 3 times 2 plus 5 you will get negative 1 here. Okay, next, negative 3 times 3 plus 6 equal to negative 3. Okay, next, move to the right side metric. Okay, negative 3 times 1 plus 0 equal to negative 3 and then negative 3 times 0 plus 0 equal to 0 and lastly negative 3 times 0 plus 1 equal to 1 okay so you will get new r3 here okay now look at column number 1 here. So, this one already changed to 100. Zero, zero. So, now we move to column number 2. Okay. To make it identity, you must change 0 here to 1. So, how to change 0 to 1? There are two methods to change something become 1. Okay. First method is interchange any two rows and second method is multiply all the elements of row by a scalar. So you can choose any other two of this. So zero here cannot multiply with a scalar because you still get zero but you can interchange its row to become one. So now you can see that you can change row 3 and row 2. Row 2 interchange with row 3. Row 1 remain. So you just copy back from the previous metric. 
now you must interchange row 2 and row 3 okay after interchanging row 2 and row 3 you will get this one okay now look at column number 2 here okay we want to change negative 1 here to 1 so there are two methods to change elements become one okay first method interchange any two rows or multiply all the elements of a row by a scalar you can choose any one of these okay so now we will multiply negative one here by a scalar negative one so we will get positive one negative one times row two you will get new row two okay so copy back row number one and row number three from the previous metric okay multiply row two with scalar negative one you will get zero positive one positive three positive three zero negative one 